King 5 Studios. It's New Day Northwest with Amity and Tracy. Hello, my loves. Hello and welcome to the show. We are so delighted to bring you a full hour of Valentine love, not just for the lovebirds out there, but for anyone who loves a celebration. Over the past few weeks, we've been, we've been sharing our feelings on this holiday. Is it just for kids or another way to drain your bank account? Ah, well, both can be true. It's also a day for all of us to celebrate the special gift of love. Love for your partner, child, your friend, or even your pet. It doesn't matter who you love, just that you feel it. It's also about loving yourself. And so I hope that as you watch the show today, you'll find something that you want to do for you, like buy yourself some chocolate or wine or pamper yourself or anything. After all, this holiday doesn't have to be about gifts or extravagant gestures. It can just be fun, simple, and easy. So kick up your feet and get ready for an hour of Valentine's treats. And we are kicking off our Valentine show with two very special makeovers. I love a makeover. And we asked people to nominate the women in their lives who could use a little targeted love and special care. Two special women were chosen and they spent time getting updated hair and makeup as well as a new outfit. Stylist Darcy Camden and hair and makeup stylist Tiffany Colors teamed up to spread the glam. You know, when I said I love a makeover, I really do because it's not about we do like too. it's not like you look ratchet and we're gonna make you look better. It's how do you feel better inside, right? Exactly. This is not like bad to good. These, it wasn't bad before. Right. Mm -hmm. But it's more about, and Tiff and I have done hundreds of makeovers in real life on men and women who just feel like they need a little bit of a boost. I mm -hmm. love this. This is the perfect thing to do for Valentine's Day. Celebrate two deserving women and just give them a little bit of me time. Share the love. And an energy boost. Spread the kindness. So mm -hmm. once you narrowed down the nominees, what happened? Like, we how got some really go? good nominees too. And mm -hmm. I have to say, we have a rule that we only do makeovers on people who really, want really it. want them. Yes. <laughs> and so I made people jump through some hoops to get this. Yeah. You know, tell me about yourself. Tell me why you want this. Mm -hmm. We got some really great stories. Mm -hmm. um, and we wanted this to really be more of a celebration than anything yeah. else. And I, so and we you picked, couldn't narrow it down to just one. Right. We picked two. Which is why we're doing two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I think that's great. Yeah. Two deserving women. Double the double and the love. They've been together. They get to have this experience together. So it's Did a they full, know each other before? No. They didn't, but when I was kind of interviewing them and getting more information, I thought these two would be friends. Yeah. And so it's a Valentine's Day miracle. Yeah. I love it. Well, with much further ado, drum roll, please. Let us start with a fir our first, which is KC. Okay. See, this is the before. No, she looks great so, before. So it's lovely. Great. So, so beautiful. Casey just turned 40 this weekend. Oh, mm -hmm. happy birthday. So, and she, um, she came down from Bellingham. She, she owns some Benjamin Moore paint stores. And she has a background. Like, she went to fashion school. Mm -hmm. And she's she just... Those are colors. She was just she, okay, kind yeah. of like, you know, what does 40 look like? Which yeah, I can I hear that. I can absolutely relate to that. I'm still trying like, to figure that out what three does years later. 40 fashion feel like. So let us reveal what it looks like. <gasps> oh, Casey, you're beautiful. So pretty. Thank you. First thing we wanted to do was give her a great Valentine's Day date night dress. Yes. So gotta go for the red. It's from White House Black Market. Great store. Love it. Super, super comfortable. And I gave her some really girly details like a Betsy Johnson bag. And the shoes are so comfortable. They're from Frankie Four, which is my go-to for, for high heels that you can actually walk in. Yeah, Frankie Four makes a great shoe. And, and Tiffany, what do yeah. we do with the look? So we met and we cut, we just did a little bit of a trim. The, the, her last hairstylist actually did a really great job, but what we decided is that we wanted to bump her blonde up a little mm -hmm. bit. So I just wove through a couple of platinum pieces. So not a huge, but just enough that adds a little bit of sparkle to her look. And then Thrive Cosmetics was awesome. We got her last Lashy, cheeky, and lippy. Ooh. So we did her eyelashes with a gorgeous black mascara. It's their, it's their go-to black mascara. Mm -hmm. And then we we did a red lip, first red lip that she's ever tried. And we also <laughs> decided that she could wear it with her red dress or just with a white t-shirt and yeah, jeans. It's absolutely. all about it, an accessory. Yeah. The lipstick color and the lip liner is called Maya. Mm -hmm. And then her cheeks, it's a really easy cream cheek. It's called Dion. And then by Redken, it was the dry texture 
texture hairspray, like mm -hmm. the dry spray for volume, and then the brushable hairspray. So we went ahead, put a curl in, and then kind of fingered through it. So I have to say, what I love about your the look overall and how Casey, how you look, it's you look gorgeous and glam, but Thank natural. You. You're Thank not you. overdone. You're not wearing the big false lashes. You, you look. Do you feel like you? Do you feel good? I do feel good. I do feel like me with just some extra, extra pizzazz. Yeah, how good does it feel to get that extra attention? It's really fun. Yeah. Because it's like, sometimes to have extra support to figure out what looks good and what doesn't. I, totally. I so get that. That's why I have Darcy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. You look you look beautiful. Oh, I you. love that. The red lip there is so key because mm -hmm. sometimes when we talk, we think about makeovers, we think yeah. about this huge dramatic change. Chop off all your hair. Right. Get bangs. Dye it a completely we're different we're color. Bangs here. And it could just be as simple as getting red lipstick or trying mm -hmm. something new that that costs like ten dollars or less. I agree, and again, I love how natural you kept her mm -hmm. and, and dewy and, and and bright and forty. Ugh. 40 looks good is all I got to yeah. say about that. All right, our second makeover is Lindsay. Here's her before picture. Again, she looks great. Look at yes. that skin. She's fabulous. She has two little ones, a one-year-old and a three-year-old. Okay, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Works full time. Her husband had a little accident last year. And Ooh. so it's just been like this. It's just been a season. Yeah. And I know what that feels like to have just a season where I'm giving to everything, everything else. else and mm -hmm. not you know, focusing on myself. So, so it's really nice to give her, her some me time. Yeah. All right, let's have Lindsay come out. She hadn't had her hair done in how long? So almost two years. <gasps> oh, you look lovely. I mean, she's had trims, but. Okay, look at this hair. I absolutely love it. I got to say, uh, you certainly, you certainly um, have a, a very unique loving style with that hair and it just how do you feel by the way i feel awesome yeah such a treat ah uh, so well, let's she talk wanted about what we to do. do she identifies as a well she identifies as a blonde and her husband would want her to be a redhead or at least just a little saucy <laughs> so i met we did in the middle where we did a gorgeous copper like weave foil mm -hmm. and then i just bumped up the blonde a little bit more too so we gave her that money piece that bright in the front and then wove through the copper hair we cut like four inches off of her hair, kept it really clean down at the bottom so mm. she can wear it straight, put it back in a ponytail, or give it a curl. And it's really about the color. The color added a lot of pizzazz to her skin tone, just in general. See, and I don't think we think about that a lot, um, having that color on our skin, like how yeah. it does affect our skin. And it will also grow out. It doesn't, it's not high maintenance. So it, I was gonna it'll ask. grow out and she can go another however long. Yeah. We made sure to kind of keep a shadow root where her mm -hmm. hair grows out, and so that so way she can So you don't have to worry go. about You've highlighting it. it again, right? Yep. So important. Yep. <laughs> and then we added a mauve to her look. Uh -huh. So Thrive Cosmetics again, and this lip gloss is called Joanne. So if you need to keep it neutral, mm -hmm. you want to go mauve and pinky, and that's what we did. We gave her a really pretty pink cheek, that's a good really advice. pretty mauve lip, and that way she can kind of look glowy and and just pretty, just pretty. Her dresses, White House Black Market uh, also. Uh -huh. um, it's a really comfortable matte jersey. This was this is the kind of dress I told her, like, you can wear this for anything. You can mm -hmm. wear it to a meeting. You can wear it to a wedding. Yeah. You can wear it any time That's of so year. True. It has a long sleeve. If anything, she was like, I like it. I just feel like we need to, like, make it a little bit cooler. And so yeah. we added a moto jacket. I gave her a really cool crossbody quilted bag, which is great to have on a date night. And the Frankie Four shoes, again, are really, really awesome for anyone who has a wider foot. I recommend them yep. for clients all the time who a lot of times can't wear heels. Not yeah. saying this is Lindsay, but like anyone yeah. who wants to, they feel feel like they can't wear heels. Yeah, um, These are really, really comfortable. Lindsay, you look absolutely stunning. I love it. And I'm with you. We both got our moto jackets on it because we know what's up. Uh, let, I would love to, for Casey to come back out again too. have both of you wonderful women standing here. Uh, I have to say, I, it's just, it is so refreshing to see these smiles on your faces. You are classic looks. Uh, you, you feel great overall. Yes. So good. Good. Does the, is the goodness over, Darcy? Is this oh, it? I mean, well, now that you are all dressed up, we got to give you some place to go, right? I so mean, we that's wanted what I to thought. give you each a one hundred dollar <laughs> gift certificate to the hottest new restaurant in Seattle. It's called Mint Progressive Indian. Tiffany and I went to their grand opening. It's so, so yummy good. and beautiful. Mm -hmm. So they're going to take really good care of you. Yeah. Um, oh. And so you get that, and we brought you some flowers. We do have some flowers from our good friend. 
Flower Lab in West Seattle. Those are, are those the ones you showed us? Yes. Oh, they are phenomenal. I mean, they knock it out of the park every time. Yes. Flower Lab. <laughs> and they get to they obviously get to keep their outfit. They get to keep the shoes. They get to keep everything. Their makeup. Makeup. Yeah. Their hair care, Redken mm -hmm. really hooked us up with some great um, maintaining products, like the right shampoo for right. blonde. Right, that makes mm -hmm. such a difference. And this mm -hmm. is all stuff that you might, it's so great if someone gives it to you because these yeah. are the little things that make Keeps such a up. big difference, but you sometimes forget to treat yourself to. Well, mm -hmm. I think you think, oh, it's so expensive, but how important is it, Tiffany, to invest in good makeup and hair care? It's, I mean, it's skin care. It's anti-aging. You yeah. invest in the good stuff and it, it helps your skin be able to process mm -hmm. and you, you feel good. And you wear it every day. We gave them the Thrive Mascara, which mm -hmm. is our favorite oh, mascara. Yeah. Do you wear it and I were talking about it, yeah. The mm -hmm. best mascara. It's worth every penny because you wear it every day and it really enhances, it enhances your whole look and, and it gives little, you an energy boost. A and little that's tip what everybody too needs. is you can put on a thickening mascara if you want to have thicker lashes, then you can seal it with the Thrive Mascara because the Thrive Mascara doesn't let your mascara go anywhere. That is the thing. <laughs> you know how sometimes you get the little, little droppings here? Mm -hmm. Thrive doesn't do no. that. I've noticed that too. It's so good. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank you Happy ladies. Valentine's Day. Oh, thank you, ladies, thank you. as well. Thank you so thank much. You. What a wonderful thing to let us be a part of. We appreciate it. You know, Valentine's Day is a wonderful day for a fancy dinner and a box of chocolates, but don't forget about the libations, too. Haley Bowman from the wine education site Cork and Fizz is here to, with me to share some great wine and bubbles to celebrate with your loved one. And I'm so glad to have my Galentine here because yes. you always have kind of the best ideas in Thank an approachable you. and not too expensive way. And I think that is key, especially right now. Absolutely. I am definitely someone who, like, any opportunity to pop some bubbles, I'm there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I'm not about to pay champagne price every time. <laughs> I'm here so for that. I brought a couple kind of budget friendly bubbles that okay. I think are just as good as champagne, but far more friendly on the wallet. <laughs> I, thank goodness. So we're talking sparkling wine here. What are we yes. starting with? So we'll start with these, the beautiful coupes here. Ooh. I have a cava in there. So it's a Spanish cava. Okay. It's essentially, it's made the same way champagne is, but yeah. in Spain with different grapes. Yeah. All right, that's fine right. with me. So we call it cava. Yeah, give it a try. Let me know what you think, and then I'm curious. I'm going to ask you how much you think it was. All right. All right, well, let's cheers it first cheers. because that's bad luck if we don't. Mm. It's very fresh. Get some yellow apple, some almond. Mama like. <laughs> Mama like. This is very smooth. Oh my gosh. Okay, I would say 30 bucks. Yeah, so keeping in mind, a regular champagne, right, is going to cost you about $30 or more. This bottle of cava, very popular, so you see it everywhere. Us. It is uh, under $10. It's How do you pronounce that, by the way? I've been drinking it for years. Um, I say Segura Viudas. Segura Viudas. Yes. This one time, my sister and I tried to cook Thanksgiving dinner, and we bought like three bottles of that, but we drank <laughs> it all before dinner was done. I don't remember. Anyway, Fair enough. All right. that is an actually, I can attest to that wine. No wonder yeah. I liked it. Yeah, great it's bottle. Great, it's great one of my go to. So okay. another option for a budget friendly spark sparkling um, is this cremant. So have you ever heard the thing where you can only call it champagne if it's from the Champagne region of France, right? Oui, oui. Okay, well it is true, to be fair. Okay. Every other wine made like champagne in France is called cremant. Cremant. So made in the same way and then they're made in multiple different regions. So it's going to be called cremant de the region that it's from. Okay. And so this is cremant de Jura. So it's from a tiny cremant little region east of Burgundy and so same thing. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Cheers. Well, Mm, très bien. Right? A little creamier than the cava. A little creamier, a little bit more fruity. Yes. A little more bright. Yes. I mean, I'm still loving the cava, but this is really good. Okay. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, go ahead. Give it a, give it a guess. What do you think this one is? It's from France, so there's import tax. No, 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 no. $22. So this one's around $15, $16. All right. Yeah, Th this one's the Cremant, Cremant de Jura. Again, I got this at Total Wine. Perfect. And I love that. And so when it comes to sparkling wine, one secret I like to let people in mm -hmm. on is that you tend to have it as an aperitif like before dinner, right? Before dinner, yeah. It actually pairs really well with food. Yes. Almost all foods. And in particular, salty and fatty. Salty so and fatty. Basically, anything you'd find on a charcuterie platter is going to match really well with your sparkling wine. That makes perfect sense. And you know what? And you, it's easy to remember because charcuterie platter is usually what you're starting with if you're having a meal. Right, exactly. So pop that bubbly. I yes. love that. Yeah. All right. When you do put a, let's say, charcuterie board together for, say, champagne, are there any cheeses that you want to avoid? Like, I don't think, I feel like brie and champagne wouldn't really go well together. I don't, so it could be wrong. It kind of depends. It's more, a lot of it's based off what you, what your, you know, mm -hmm. style is. But for me, I like to go for the salty kinds, right? Yeah. So I've got some manchego here. The other nice thing too is like cava. That's from Spain. Manchego so is, is a Spanish cheese. 
exactly. Going kind of matching the regions yes. together. I love that. All right, let's move on to some of these beautiful red wines yes, you have here. Yes, absolutely. We got to have some red as well. So thinking about you know your Valentine's dinner, nice little romantic. Mm -hmm. A great wine to start with is Burgundy. Burgundy, red Burgundy is from the Burgundy region of France, yes. as you might guess, and it's 100% Pinot Noir. Okay. So this is going to be wine number one there on there for you if you want to give it a try. This is going to be a little higher in acid, lower tannins, um, and so it's going to be really food friendly. Oh, that smells delicious. You know, this is my favorite red. Oh, I love it. I love it. And it's going to be a lot of red fruit, a little bit of earthiness as well, mm. add some complexity in there. This one is so smooth. I've actually had this wine before, probably, mm -hmm. because I usually try to stick to, you know, budget-friendly wines. Yes. But this is so smooth, and I like it because most Pinots can be... They're, they're not, this one's fruity, but without being too fruit forward. Yes, yeah, it has a nice balance. And again, for under, I mean, I think this one was right around $10. Like, mm. having something that has that fruity and earthiness at a good price point mm -hmm. is hard to do, but Louis That's, Jadot, it's one of my go-tos. All right, I love it. Wine number two. Okay, this is for our, like, people who love a bolder style okay. wine, right? So if you're a Cabernet Sauvignon drinker, yes. you'll like this. This is called Nero de Avola. This comes from a island in southern mm -hmm. Italy, and it's going to be a little bit stronger, darker fruit flavors, and then some spiciness, a little chili pepper, a little sweet tobacco in there to kind of add some complexity. This the aroma is, oh, it's just very, it's very ancient, it tastes, it smells ah, like. Ah, I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, it's something a little different than what you think of with like, you know, those fruit forward styles. This has a little bit of that spiciness. It's also like your go-to then for like very intense food. So like steak. Big old steak. Burger. Exactly. I can see that. This is, this is a very, it's a little bit more of a bold wine than I would pick, but I love, I have very uh, dear friends who love Cabernet Sauvignon. Yeah, this is So for now them. I know what to get them. <laughs> exactly. Say thanks, Haley. <laughs> Emily and Joseph are delighted. All right, wine number three looks very, very light. What is happening yes, here? Okay, so one of my favorite parts of Valentine's Day is the dessert, is the sweets, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, how can you not? So the problem is that when you're pairing wine with sweets, uh -huh. typically what you want to do is you want your wine sweeter or a, as sweet or sweeter than your food. As sweet or sweeter than the yeah, food? Yeah, so if your food is sweet, you need a sweet wine. So that is what wine number three is. Uh, all right. <laughs> I, I, it seems counterintuitive. You think the wine would balance the so, sweetness, but I trust you. Well, so, and this is what I want to do. If we have the time, Kay. you want to do a little experiment yeah, with me? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Okay, so take a sip of wine and okay. then pick a little dessert and have a small little bite and then go back to the wine. And we're going to do this with this, and then I want to try it with the Nero de Avola. <laughs> all right. Sweet, very sweet. Right, okay, and then go back to the wine. The idea is that you should still get some fruitiness from the wine. It shouldn't all disappear. It worked! Yes, okay, okay, now I want you to it's try It's more it. berry than it was. Okay, right? okay, okay, all right. Okay, now the reason why you don't do it, so go ahead and set down the wine number three. Okay. Wine number two, now go back to our Nero de Avola. This is not okay. sweet, right? So this yeah. is why this doesn't work. So try a bite of your food and then go back to the, this is what's called a dry wine, so there's no sugar in it. And what happens is it kind of disappears, all the fruit disappears and it's very bitter. That wasn't good. Yeah, <laughs> right? So that's the reason you want it to, it needs to balance the sweetness in there. The things you teach me. <laughs> I love it. You have so much information. I'm so grateful that you have thank Cork you. and Fizz and that you are educating people every day. So thank you so much. Happy, thank you. Happy Valentine's, Galentine's Day. Go check out Cork and Fizz. It'll really change your whole world when it comes to wine. On this Valentine's Day, we're asking you, how do you show the love to the most important people in your life? Sure, everyone has their own way, including the New Day staff. Here's our editor, Gloria Angelin. The way we express love can be different from one to another. So, on this Valentine's Day, I'm going to ask my teammates some of the ways they like to show love. Gift giving is one, and just showing up for people. Yeah, you always show up for everything oh, here. Thank you. I feel loved if someone does something nice for me, even if I don't have to ask for it. It doesn't have to be like buying me something nice. It is like help, like my car's broken down and like you drive me to get my car fixed. Like to me, that is such a nice sign of showing love, stuff like that. Is that how you show love to other people too? That's a good question. I think it could be. That or quality time for other people, definitely, yeah. If I really, really love someone, I will go the extra mile. I will be there for you. If you are in a battle, I'll be swinging swords back to back. Like, you don't have to worry. I got your back for the rest of your life. No problem. Sure. Let's say if there is a raccoon attacking your cat or there is a bear attacking your cat. Oh, well, if it's you, a bear. Will you be there for them? Not the bear. No, I mean, if the bear is attacking my cat, then it's, you know, bye-bye kitty. 
a raccoon I might try, but have you seen a raccoon's teeth? I mean, they're like this long. I mean, I might try, but you know. Yeah, it's being present in the moment, you know? It's doing things with them. Um, it's finding a time to, to talk with them and not at them. Um, but yeah, it's kind of just finding that quality time to do stuff with them. As for me, I don't always say, oh, I love you, except to my dog, of course. I'm more of a protector. That means I'm highly protective of the people I love. I might not say nice things in front of them, but I always care and have their backs. What about you? How do you express love? Time now for hot takes. You know, one of, if not the most popular Valentine's gift is a heart-shaped box full of chocolates. But inside this box, not everything rates the same. And here to weigh in on the best and worst chocolates are producer Rebecca and executive producer Joseph. Now, I actually love that everyone has got to have a feeling about this. So yeah. let's, shall, yeah. shall I pop it open? Please uh, do. Please. Ooh. What brand is this, Russell Stover? Ooh, chocolate, I don't know. That's how you know it's fresh. That's how you know it's fresh. Yeah. Ooh, Look at okay. how nice that looks. Okay, okay. Isn't that pretty? And it smells. And we don't know what is what, because we got rid of the thing. Yeah, she got rid of the guide. The I did that on gone. purpose. Yes. Yeah. All right, so I mean, generally you can tell the nut ones. Yeah. I can tell you which one is toffee. But my favorite ones are the orange and strawberry and raspberry cream. Oh, that sounds interesting. Okay. <laughs> are those your least favorite? Uh, definitely not my favorite. I, well, see, that's what makes us good Valentine yeah. friends. I just don't like the kind that are like the liquidy cherry stuff that oozes oh, out. Oh, oh, that's my favorite. Oh, no, I no, will no, fight no, no. you oh, for the cherry cordial. Oh, chocolate covered cherries. I will fight you for that one. You are, enjoy. Um, okay, my favorite are, it's, they're almost always square, and I go for the dark chocolate, it's the caramels. Oh, okay, oh, the caramels okay, are yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, though, they fool you because so is the orange cream is usually square. I know, mm. so you just never Why know what you you're going to get. Why don't you uh, try them out and see what okay, happens. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I know this is probably toffee. I'm gonna go for this one. All right, I'll go for this one. My hottest take is I don't really like candy. So Wait, I'm you're gonna... you're doing one though. Uh, oh, I all got. Right. All right. Caramel. I don't want this. Let's oh, see. I got it. <laughs> Caramel, <laughs> that one. Can I try again? Mm -hmm. What'd you get? Caramel. Snickers. Mm -hmm. I think yours would be round. Mm hmm And then this is nougat, I think. Mm. Well, I. What do you think that one is? No. Okay, I'll just I'm try gonna, this. Mm -hmm, you think mm -hmm, this one? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm, yay! Strawberry cream. Mm. All right, so do you think, honestly, now that I've tried both of them, Russell Stover's, who are not a sponsor, by the way. No, they're not. They make a pretty good product. Like, you can always count on, on like, the uh -huh. fact that it's gonna be the same. What's, um, what's your least favorite, the one that, like, you try to Ooh. avoid at all costs? The, like, the chocolate coffee ones. Oh, I love those. Yeah, no. those ones coffee. are too much. Coffee. That's not the right answer. No, it, it is. It Co is coconut. Oh, I oh! love coconut. Oh, I like coconut too. No. Yeah. My we husband very, hates coconut. We are very opposite uh, on the taste wheel. Mm -hmm. Spectrum. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. I, I do like caramel though. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is your least favorite? Well, I don't really like chocolate candy that much, but the, the liquidy cherry, like I said, is definitely not, okay. not my favorite. What about you? Did, did we have one of those in here? Did we see it? I don't think so, because oh. I think I would have already grabbed it. I don't think that's a Russell Strober thing. Yeah, they have no, taste. No, they that's taste. more of a, what's that's the name of the company that makes them? I can't remember now, but Godiva. all I know is that this is delicious, and I'm glad that we've eaten candy now. <laughs> We're have a well, sugar it's on. not Valentine's Day without that kind of stuff, it right? Is it? I this mean, is come on, yes. that's classic. All right, well, happy Valentine's Day, my Yay. friends. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> and you know, Valentine's Day is really the perfect excuse to take your sweetheart out for a fancy dinner. But if you're now just remembering that you forgot to make that reservation, we've got you covered. I visited James Beard award-winning chef John Sundstrom from his acclaimed Seattle restaurant, Lark, and he had some great ideas for us. So what are we making? We're gonna do a luxurious truffled uh, fondue. Uh, we call it fonduta, and it basically has egg yolks and we're adding some black truffles to it to give it kind of that extra Valentine's touch. Is it the black truffles that makes it luxurious? It is, yes, and the egg yolks. Awesome, well let's get started. Okay, so uh, first thing we'll do is just heat up a little bit of butter and we're just gonna throw a garlic clove in there which will take out 
uh, before we serve it, just to give it a little bit of depth of flavor. Okay, so you don't chop it up, you just kind of smash just it and then smash throw it, it. in. Okay. You just want a little fragrance in there. Traditional fondue, um, a lot of times there'll be some flour in it to mm -hmm. thicken, the, thicken the cheeses. Uh, this, we don't add any flour to. So it's gluten-free until you dip your bread in it. It's gluten-free until you dip your bread. All right, perfect. So uh, just add the white wine. And what would you think, like maybe a... a Quarter cup of white quarter wine? Quarter cup of white wine, okay. exactly, not too much. Uh, this recipe will make basically two little pots of fondue. Okay. So um, more than most people need in a sitting. Well, maybe maybe not more than we want. Exactly. <laughs> uh, now we'll add the cream. And you want it to be, uh, you know, normally when you make a sauce, you might reduce the wine, reduce the cream. You don't want to reduce it too much. We actually want it to be a little bit liquidy so that um, your cheese kind of has something to grab onto. Got it. Otherwise, right. it'll get a little too thick. And what kind of cheese? This is Fontina cheese. If you can buy Italian Fontina, mm -hmm. it's going to just be a little more uh, rich in flavor. But any Fontina will work. And you okay. could do this with cheddar. You could do this with mozzarella provolone. Just some cheese that's going to melt. Okay. So. Copy that. All right. So, um... Once this is simmering, we basically are just gonna season it a little bit, just some salt. And we have a little bit of fresh thyme. Ooh. Not too much. And then I'm gonna add the cheese. And it, and it, it is important, like no shortcuts, y'all. You have to grate the cheese yourself. You do have to grate the cheese, yeah. It'll be better. Yes. And especially, you know, if you buy that imported Fontina, it won't come grated for you. Yeah, that's, if you're buying the fancy cheese, it won't be pre-grated. And then just, just a nice low simmer. Okay. And you know, you can stir with a whisk or a wooden spoon. Um, just kind of want to get that melting. And this is what you're going to be serving on Valentine's Day yeah. here at Lark, this right? is going to be our first course. So we're doing five course menu. The first course will be this truffle fondue. Mm -hmm. We've got choices for your next course, you know, hamachi, crudo, tostadas, a lovely salad. Um, and then we're going to do uh, maitake mushroom tempura for the middle course. Okay. Or if you really want to go big, we're going to have um, A5 Wagyu steak that we'll sear. So, wow. so you can see this is getting this a, little, together really a little creamy. I don't know if you can see that. Or maybe you can see it. It's starting to thicken up. <clears throat> we'll pull it just to the edge of the heat. Okay. And then we're gonna basically just um, add our egg yolks. So not the whites, just the yolks. Just the yolks. What is the reason for that? Um, yolks are actually a natural thickener. This recipe is pretty um, approachable, and okay. I think you know everyone should give it a shot. So. I mean, this is something that would really impress your partner if you Absolutely. came home and said, "I'm making you truffle cheese fondue." Well, and then when we talk about the, all the things we're going to serve with it, you know, you can um, do your own pickles if you want. But you know, I like to cheat and just buy like you know the great pickled green beans or asparagus, yes. whatever's around. Even fresh raw vegetables are great. Oh, so. fantastic! So we have a little bit of um, black truffle. This is a burgundy black truffle. And you could buy this frozen, you could buy a little, um, you know, minced in a jar would work mm -hmm. fine. Fresh might be a little harder to find. Is there a reason why you add it at the very last and you, not when you did the salt? You and don't stuff? really want to dilute it too much. Okay. The, the flavor will cook out if you uh, go too early. It's basically ready. What I like to do is uh, take out that garlic clove. Oh, it smells amazing. I know, it's it's looking good. So, hey, do you want to light our little fondue pot? Oh, yes, I can do that. I am very excited. All right, here we go. Put it's that pretty nice. There. I am so excited to try this fonduta. So, what have we got to dip? So uh, we've got the traditional ciabatta bread that we toasted, opal apples, romanesco cauliflower, and purple cauliflower, marinade artichoke hearts, potatoes, pickled green beans, and then I've got some salami. Who doesn't love the salami, but I'm gonna try the broccolini real sure. quick in here and just... Oh my goodness. Sinful, it is sinful. That's what we're hoping for, great. Perfect for Valentine's Day. Yay. I just think everything, it looks so beautiful, and, and the whole ambiance and vibe of Lark is, is so nice. By the way, congratulations on 20 years. Actually, cheers. Oh yes, cheers. So to 20 years. Thank you. Unreal, tell me about what it's been like to, to have the same passion and mission all these years. You know, it, it's wild. I mean, of course, when we opened, we never thought beyond one or two years, you know? So uh, you get to 10 or 15 and, and now almost 20. 
it's just amazing and we've changed and evolved over mm -hmm. the years so you know we went from kind of a little neighborhood place with small plates to a more luxurious grand restaurant and that that sort of seems like how life goes sometimes right it, it, so yeah we're thrilled because we are a place that's very romantic it is one of the few places you can really go big and celebrate a special occasion so and not only are you celebrating an anniversary but congratulations for being a semi-finalist for the james beard award for yeah, outstanding hospitality also just wow a lovely uh lovely honor you know we've always tried to be very gracious mm -hmm. and warm in how our service goes and of course the you know a lot of focus on the food but we want uh, we want you to feel comfortable when you come to lark mm -hmm. you know this is about your night not about just our, our vision, you know, we, of course, we, we are excited to, to show you great food, and uh, but we want it to be whatever your occasion is. So it's really uh, humbling and, and lovely to be recognized. So wish us luck to the next stage. <clears throat> well, you certainly deserve it. Thank you again. Thank and you cheers. so much. It wouldn't be a holiday without one of my favorite Aww. Galentines, 425 Lifestyle contributor, Monica Hart. As usual, she put together <laughs> the most beautiful party you've ever seen. I, hey, first yes, of all, happy, 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 happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. Yes, I love it. Thanks for having me. You always yes. make things so beautiful. But Thank like, you. when you look at all of this, it can be a bit intimidating. But you say, you know what? Just uh, take one or two ideas from what you have here today. Absolutely, yes. And I'm going to start with a runner. I like to do a runner, not with hearts and stuff, because I want a runner that I can use every day. So I love yeah. this light lavender. If you don't happen to have a cool runner, make one. This is just made out of a really fun paper, and oh. I've taped it together. I dovetail the V in the front, and you can make a runner out of some leftover, you know, wrapping paper. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Yeah, because I do have, minute. like, heart wrapping paper. If you don't want to be... Let's go. See, I, Tape I it together. Love that idea. Do a little dovetail on the back. It looks really cute. So that's that. That is genius. Fun. Yes. There you go. I'm, so, you. I'm doing that tonight. Okay. <laughs> done. Done. Okay. And then flowers, right? All right. Okay. So you go to the uh, market and you get like a twenty dollar, you know, thing of flowers. Right. And I like to get my money's worth, so I break it up into all these fun little um, mason jars. I've got a vintage milk jar. Tuck in a few tags that I've used years past. There's a little XXO. There's a little heart. They're just left over, right? Yeah. And so you can dance these down the table. You can put one at each play setting. If you have kids, they can bring it to their room or the bath, and you can just get Aww. more mileage with this $20 bouquet, right? Right, and it looks much classier when you when you take it all together and you, and yeah. you, and you make it your so own easy. thing. So easy, and they're I just hand-tied. I use twine to tie them together, fun clippers, you're good to go. But what an easy way to make your house feel festive without, you know, having to go buy right. more decorations, because, you know, that's my problem, is decorating, yes. like buying a decor for every different holiday. And, like, then, you have have to have to and then you have to store it. And then you got to store it. I love the hand tied bouquets. Uh, what is next? What's next is if you have an ice bucket and mm -hmm. you have some leftover flowers, pop it in there. Really fun. Make cute. sure you put berries in your glass. It looks really cute. And then a little cheese board. Now, I happen to have a heart-shaped cheese board, but okay. if you don't, no big deal. Go get some parchment paper. Do what you did in grade school, right? You got a little parchment paper, and then you go like that. Now you have your form. Slap it down on a piece of wood or whatever, and then you can use that as your guide okay. to make a little heart-shaped thing. Put Genius. fresh berries. We've got, of course, cheese and crackers and nuts, and I've got little pots of jam. Um, Edible flowers, so easy, so fast. And again, if you don't have this, this yes. is. Hey, I am so trying this next time. Yeah. I thought this was just going to be the decoration, but you're right. You use this as a guide, as a guide to, to put to on your, your fruits and things. Yeah, just there you go. You uh, stole my heart. Girl. Oh, I love all you. right. What are these okay. cute little things? Three little cupcakes, sweet treats. Here's the best news. They're all made from a box. Okay, so last minute, it's great. But the first one is really fun. It's a hidden heart. And so what I've done is I have made two different uh, uh, cakes, and I did one that was red velvet and okay. one that was uh, vanilla. Okay. And so then you do a sheet cake, and then you cut out these little with a one-inch heart, these uh, little um, the red velvet hearts. Okay. Isn't that yummy? And, yeah. then, you would eat and then you put the batter in there, you fill it about two thirds full, and then what happens is you have a hidden heart. <gasps> and so now I have decorated the top and I've marked it with a little uh, candy. I've got some little candies here. And the reason I do that, because when you slice into it, you want to know what direction right. the heart is. Otherwise, it's going to look like an ear, oh. and that's not going to be attractive. <laughs> we don't want that. So that's number one. Number two, all I did is I got some brownie mix, I put it in a little muffin tin, and then I went ahead and they uh, popped in. A little raspberry and look how cute that looks. That looks right? very yeah, elegant. It looks like you're buying it in a, in a, in a, a French bakery or something, Sweet. but it's just a box brownie mix. Last but not least, this is a really fun thing. You make a heart shaped cupcake. Oh, I and we're going to do it with a really great hack. I don't want to buy things that I have to store. So like what heart I do, shaped muffin tins? No, yeah, muffin tins. So what you do is you get a little bit of foil okay. and you uh, squeeze it into the size of a marble. And you can see what I've done here. I tuck it in 
to the pan Look at that. and then it forms a heart. So what you do is you fill up your thing about halfway full, then you put this little uh, thing behind it and then as it bakes off, it's going to become this fun little heart. See, you can see yeah. that right there. She just yeah. put it there so it makes it this heart yeah. which and becomes becomes this. Like that. Not cute. So easy. I cannot even with how clever that is. So uh, you need all you need for some of these things. You want to make sure that two thirds are half full, otherwise it doesn't turn out. And also okay. you want a heart shaped cookie cutter. And last but not least, cocktail time. Cocktail time. So I've got a, a strawberry a martini drop. I've made a homemade strawberry puree. Okay. And they're actually in here. And you want to do a fun garnish. So I've sliced up a, a strawberry and skewered it. And you can see that it looks like a little heart. Isn't that You've sweet? You cut it into a little heart, which yeah, is easy. Yeah, little heart. Super easy. Cocktail. And so here we go. Be careful. Okay. I've got the thing in it. I love these individual shakers. They're so much fun. So is your puree just strawberry, sugar, and water? Yes. Yep, oh. that's it. By the way, I love these little shakers. You can put some vanilla in it. Now that's something I'll invest in. Go for high, high pour. Here we go. High pour. Fancy. We fancy. We fancy. It's like we've done this before. I know. Huh. I, I did learn a trick <laughs> that if you keep the cup stationary when you're pouring, you can go as high as you want and it will oh, not th spill. That's good to know. All right. Okay, All right, let's try this All little right. thing. This is fun. This can fall in there. That's fine. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy! A little vodka, lemon juice. Oh, that's, that's good. Strawberry puree. I'm mm. finishing that. That right, tastes cheers. like Valentine's right there. Right there. And look cheers, at the color. my beautiful friend. Oh, nice. And your creativity is always so wonderful and Love welcome. Love joining you guys. Thank you. Oh, this is great. And I'm going to actually do at least two of these things tonight I when it. I get Let home. Let me know. So I hope you're proud. Let me know. I, I am proud. I love cheers. you. Well, time flies when you're having fun, or in our case, when you've been married for like, I don't know, 800 years. Uh, to wrap up this hour of love and romance, we decided it was time to play the not-so-newlywed game. My partner in crime is my husband, Chris, and we are playing against Darcy and her husband, Gary, <laughs> who've been together for 22 years. This is a picture of their very first Valentine's Day together. <laughs> oh, the <to> babies! <laughs> Actually, you look exactly the same, Darcy. Those cargo pants are back in style. That's right, they are. <laughs> look how cute they are. And because we love her so much, our hostess with the mostest is King 5 traffic anchor Shante Sumter. Hello, lovely lady. Take it away. Okay, so the not so newlywed game is what we're playing today. And a lot of you, all of you answered questions and you wrote those answers down on the red cards you have. So. I'm going to ask your spouse how they think you'd respond, and then you're going to flip over your answer. The winners will get a trip to the kissing booth. Oh. All right. Okay, so let's get started. Chris, where did you and Amity share your first kiss? Oh. Um, I don't know the specific restaurant. Ooh. I just know it was, I believe, Italian in Bakersfield, California, outside. Nope, wait. Oh. Nope, wait, wait. Oh. Stop. Oh my God, I just had a brain fart. Um, no, it was actually in, uh, uh, I can't remember the restaurant. It was Bakersfield, California, out on the patio, though. And um, no, it was next to your car. What am I saying? I said I was going to get it on the way. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Because, because it was the first one, we're going to give you a chance. The pressure. It was outside oh, of car. the toaster. Next, next to the, the toaster. Next to my car. Oh, oh, oh the name of the toaster. You yeah. got it right. Good job. Okay. Yeah, just... We're going to let that slide. Next time. Sorry. We're pressure. Gonna, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> I'm so All right. Nervous. Well, Gary, if Darcy had to live in one season forever, what would that season be? Summer. Oh, no. <laughs> We're not. <laughs> Okay. But I also love summer. Oh, so, okay. I think it's a toss up. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. You I, would, I would have said spring. Would. My birthday's right before Christmas. I feel like it's my. It's a holly, okay. it's a holly we'll jolly see. time. We, we'll see because we did have a little trouble with the first one, okay. so maybe we'll okay. call it even one more. Maybe. Okay, okay. All right, Amity. What is Chris's coffee order? Like at Starbucks? Okay, okay. Um, His is a uh, grande iced. Coffee with a light brevet or light cream. Let's see. Well, depending upon the season, it said for hot, uh, yeah. grande drip, light and uh, but a venti iced coffee. I got um, I mean, half um, a point. I feel like Rebecca says, okay, no, I All think right. she got it. Okay, okay, that's your competition. <laughs> I got it. It comes down to it. Very competitive. All right. She actually does I love drink. today. Darcy, who okay. said I love you first? <gasps> Well, me. Me. You did? Oh, wait, love? Yeah, love. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. All right. That's round one. Round one. 
All right, round two. We're gonna make this a little fast. I also asked him Chris. to be my boyfriend. Yes. How you does too. Amity like her steak cooked? <laughs> well done, cut in half, butterfly, and well, well done. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that counts. Gary, where did you and Darcy have your first date? Oh, uh, we we went out to uh, Bob's Burgers and Brew in Bellingham, Washington, where we went to college together. Mm -hmm. And we went ice skating as well. Ooh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I love this game that everyone <laughs> so wins and no one goes home yeah. and fights. Well, and you guys are still winning. You're Look, winning. It's like half right. a point. It is, you, you know, and you gave her that half a point. I know, I but <laughs> it's fine. All right. <laughs> what is Chris's love language? My husband? Yeah, yeah. Cleaning the house? <laughs> keeping things clean? <laughs> is it? Doing things. Doing things, doesn't that oh, count? Okay. I, I mean, counts. it's loose, it's loose, but we'll take it. Okay. Yeah. All right, that counts. All right, that so round out round two. Darcy, you're on a road trip together. What snack does Gary buy from the gas station? For himself? Oh. Yes. Um, like Land Yeagers or meat sticks. <laughs> like you slap it with Slim Jim? I would pack those in the car before we left the house. It's so important. At the store, I would buy chips. Oh. oh. Like salt and vinegar chips? Yeah. Okay, oh. last you know? round. All right, last round. This <laughs> is for all the marbles. Chris, mm -hmm. what's the title of a TV show that best sums up your marriage? <laughs> This is, we're never gonna get, I, I had a guess. Oh, uh. Mm. All right, you gotta, you gotta give an answer, babe. Oh my goodness, I, I, I just was thinking her favorite show, but it's a horrible thing for our marriage, Deadwood. <laughs> <laughs> well, close, I said Walking, Walking Dead or Happy Days, okay. depends on the day. Okay. All right, All right. it sounds like this game is really close. Gary, what is Darcy's favorite way to relax? That is so tough. She's got a long list. I mean, I could go uh, sauna blanket. I could go weighted blanket. I could go spa day. You get one. I could go shopping. All right. I would say a day that has all of those combined. <laughs> okay. uh, let's go well, spa. Let's you forgot go one. You forgot one. Oh, a bath. Oh. The simplest oh. one. A oh. sauna blanket. Okay. Is I do thing? have a sauna blanket. And okay. Yeah. The last two questions, really quick. Amity, does yeah. Chris prefer a window or an aisle seat? Aisle, for sure, he would not want to be trapped. <laughs> okay, okay. And Darcy, if you could choose one thing of Gary's to get rid of, what would it be? Get rid of? I can't think Does it of mean anything. she gets to if she gets it right? <laughs> you have 10 seconds. Oh my I will, gosh. I will agree to that. I, I, <laughs> something to think get about rid something of. You, don't like. Oh man, I feel like there's something so obvious that I just can't think of. Oh, so we gotta give you an answer. answer. Oh. <laughs> Five seconds. I don't know. I'm sorry. What did you say, love? Old shoes. Oh, oh old shoes. Yeah. yeah. I'm so, keeping them now. Well, I cannot <laughs> believe this, I but know. the winner well, is. It's a, at least she didn't say this. Yeah, <laughs> you got <laughs> kissing boo, and you get a decoration. <laughs> Congratulations. You know, you thank all did a great job. There. You all did a thank really you great guys job. for great coming job. on. And thank you, <laughs> seriously, all of you <laughs> for telling about this. And uh, thank you for spending time with us today. You can check our website for more content. You can always send us an email to share with us. But most importantly, happy Valentine's Day. And get out there and enjoy your new day. We'll see you next time.